into your April 2020. This is going to be the you versus them reading for, did I say April? Well, it's a little bit of April and it's May. So I am billing it as May. I apologize. May 2020, which is going to cover you from April 26th until May the 2nd. Yes, in a couple days. We will be given the energy for this week. Yes, yes, yes. If you're new here with me, that's what we do. So back to what I was saying, the intro. <laughs> May 2020, this is going to be the you versus them readings for the beautiful sign of cancer. Now, cancer, I'm going to tell you right now, as soon as I say hi to everybody, what just happened while I was pre-shuffling. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe, and what's good, fam bams? Thank you all for um, the birthday, the birthday love. What is wrong with me? Well, let me tell you what's wrong with me, Cancers. I have a bit of a headache, and I've been, I'm coming on very late tonight. I would have been done with about five of these videos by now, but I've been trying to shake this headache. So, thank you for the anniversary love. I'm not going to start over. I'm fumbling. I'm, I'm trying to get through this headache, okay? Um... Thank you for the anniversary, love. I appreciated it. These would probably be done, but I took a break. If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, not sorry, okay? Um, as long as you have content every week and understand that energy is fluid, then you and I are A-OK. -okay. All right, so, cancer. <clears throat> Did I say hi to everybody? If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed, yeah, I said all that. See, I, I can't remember that I said it. Um, cancer, I'm cracking myself up. Listen, you got the divine mother. You got the divine father. You got new beginnings. Like all of this energy started coming out for you. Beautiful crabs. Um, one, I kept putting them back. I was like, no, not that some of you guys don't deserve to get that good news. But there was one that keep, kept coming out. And I instantly laughed because I was like, how are my Cancerians going to take this energy? You got the energy of life force, which is, Af uh, which is Aphrodite. Okay. 45 is here on the board. 45. What does 45 mean to you guys? You know what we do here? It's all about the nines because we're doing four plus five and we're going to go to the, the, the whole number, right? So with that being said, what does that nine mean? Well, you guys are good. You guys are okay. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody else had nine that I've already read. It could have been Aries. Was it Aries? Possibly. I feel like someone that I just read, like you're the fourth video. Someone had it. Um, if you are interested in an order, please don't get in the comments calling out your zodiac sign. You're just showing that you're new in the house. Just ask a question, and any one of my 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 um, my tribe members will answer that, or I will answer. You versus them readings are in order of the Western zodiac. I will be dropping a top five, albeit a little late because I got a late start because I had a couple days that I was off for my anniversary, okay? So, back to the card. Some of you guys are life path four, some of you guys are life path five, some of you guys are life path nine. Some of you guys, the numbers mean something to you as a combination, some of you, they're individually. I am thinking about nine. Some of you guys are good, that means um, even if you are operating in a nine of cups, then you're experiencing your wish fulfillment. If you're operating in a nine of pentacles, you're good. Single life, single, single man, single woman. If you are operating, what the heck is that? If you are operating in the nine of swords, then you're up at night. You're thinking about things. Okay. Um, something has caused you a bit of anxiety. If you're operating in the nine of wands, then you're the wounded warrior. But either way, all of those cards, you're not yet at the completion of the cycle. So for some of those energies, it could be a little rough. But for the most part, I do, rep, I, I do feel like you're almost there. And I am talking about right now, um, if I had to liken this particular energy, 
Aphrodite. We already know what Aphrodite was about. Let me give you some key words. Seduction, libido, sexuality, and attraction. It's about to turn up for you. Now, keep in mind, Cancers, your exes never leave. They never leave. No matter who did you wrong, Cancers, they always come back. And Cancer men, I hate to attack you, <laughs> but uh, you always go back. Um, a water sign person will hold um, a space for a person, so I don't know what you're connecting with, okay? We're going to find out. Divine feminine energy in this particular reading is going to be represented by the legacy of the divine tarot. Divine masculine energy is going to be represented by the gilded tarot. If I see a soulmate card or anything regarding soulmates, I will pull a sacred soulmate card. Let's get popping. Um, your sexuality is awakened on fire and your lustier appetites are in search of satisfaction. Oh, we. Okay. You're attractive, seductive, powerful, and a green light of availability to a sexual partner is flashing. Now, that sounds like that's a little dangerous. Flashing lights. That's what it sounds like to me. But whatever. This is what makes the world go round and nothing more intriguing and exciting than your life force asserting itself. Um, the key to enjoying this fiery essence is containment. You must control and direct your life force energy rather than to allow it to control and overwhelm you. Otherwise, you can become mindlessly addicted to your senses, which can be debilitating and enslaving. Ooh, cancers, you guys are nasty. The light in your sexual self will be discriminating about where it leads you. What? Listen, Venus is going to have y'all jacked up. I'm telling you because it is in retrograde. Boo about to come back talking, honey, baby, boo, boo. Mm, don't listen. Don't make any dra drastic decisions during Venus retro. Okay. Good or bad, if it, if it was on the verge of being over, just halt. <laughs> Don't make any decisions because this life force ain't playing. Give me three cards. All right, so you guys are obviously, this is the energy between you and your person, Cancer. Sun, moon, moon rising, and Venus. Let's find out how you're feeling about this Aphrodite. Again, um, in the description box, guys. Jesus, where did you go? In the description box will be a link, a link, a reference to masculine and feminine energy. Spirit, give me divine masculine and what they're feeling about this, please. This doesn't sound like a bad thing, but let's see. All right, so <laughs> there's definitely going to be some success with it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What else we got? We have judgment. So this sounds like to me that someone is being guided to stop the life force. <laughs> Turn your Aphrodite off. Do you hear me? Mm. Show me spirit. Your energy is definitely jumping. And you're, you're somebody stressed out about this. So we have the six of wands. We have judgment energy rebirth. And we also have faith. I really feel like right now someone's trying to get away from this energy. Someone is trying to break the tie, the sexual bond that they have with someone and be a little bit more discriminating with their life force, their sexuality, their Aphrodite-ness, their Aphrodite, okay? Top of the deck we have for you guys is a Ten of Swords. So obviously um, you are stressing out about a divine feminine. This is something that you want to do. You may find that it is hard as hell to do um, for a lot of reasons. We're going to find out what's going on on the, on the divine masculine side. I don't expect them to feel no type of way about this. I, I expect to see the lovers in the three of cups and all, you know, I wouldn't imagine that they would be upset about this. Um, but let's find out. Because when we get these romance angel oracle cards, that's we really gonna get the get really the gist of what's going on. But you you it's been successful, okay? A six of wands. It's <laughs> it's been very successful. Um, 
been in a in a weird type of energy. It's been something that oh yeah, it's hard for them. It is hard for them. Cancerian, you guys are feminine energy. I do let you guys know that in case you wanted to know. Um, I feel like, therefore, I feel like because this energy is feminine, and I'm sorry, I just had to jump for a second. I really do feel like with the masculines exerting strength, I still feel like um, your hair font, because that's this faith card that just popped in my head. You're really trying to come out. You you associate this, this Aphrodite, this sexual um, attraction that you have with this person. Um, you you actually identify uh, divine feminines exactly where that is. You associate it with low vibratory energy because there must be something that you're not getting out of the deal um, other than um, good sexual desire. And that's not, there's obviously more to the story than that. So I feel that that could be the reason why you're trying to detach from this energy, okay? Um, the Divine Masculine is coming in with the Strength card. There's Fire here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Taurus Energy, and then we have Judgment. But when we're talking about that Six of Wands, um, I also feel like it's pride, okay? Um, you are trying to stop something, possibly. There's a lot of pride here. Eight of Wands. Quick conclusion, Cupid's love, Cupid's arrows, there's, oh, arrows of love. There's going to be someone that comes back. I told you the damn three of cups. Didn't I say that? Fell right in my lap. What? Now I'm confused about these two cards that fell out. One flew on the floor. One fell on my lap. Um, we have the hanging man and the ace of pentacles. So I'm going to pull for your top for the divine masculine. Um, actually, this makes more sense. The Seven of Cups. Um, actually, I don't even have to pull because that was what was on top and those other ones flew out. We're going to go with that because that kind of makes more sense why you would be apprehensive to this, okay? So, the Divine Masculine wants to talk. They're a fast talker. They're a smooth talker. They know how to. They want to get that Aphrodite. Mm -hmm. Okay? And Cancer, they're being... <laughs> They're being strong, but in a very low vibratory way. I feel like they want this. I told you that that Three of Cups was going to come out. They want to have some fun. This doesn't feel like this is a committed relationship, guys. This feels like this is very um, non-committal, okay? Um, and you're very heavily attracted to this person, Divine Feminines, but you obviously are seeking a little bit more. So your top of the deck energy again is the Ten of Swords because you have just about had it. You're tired of this attraction. Um, you want to advance to the Ace of Swords. And right now, that is the reason why you're in judgment mode, listening to that nuggle, listening to that voice inside of you, Cancer. Um, and really trying to tap into the higher you and have faith that, you know, what's for you will come to you. And you can beat this thing. But this is some good stuff. I'm Hey, this is good. And it's, it's proven to be one of the hardest things that you ever had to do. And I can say um, probably for some of you guys, I'm not saying that you initiated it like this or this is how you intended on it to be. I feel like you really did want more. I feel the majority of the stress on the feminine side. So you wanted more of a relationship, but they proved to you time and time again that they're incapable of doing that. And maybe the conversation that you guys had or need to have is that I'm trying, I'm trying here with the uh, Cupid's arrows of love, but the underlying energy shows the Three of Cups. Yes, they want to have fun with you. They want celebration. They want you guys to be cool. But the top of the deck energy showing these options turns you off. It makes you a bit apprehensive. Um, so I feel like that's what it is. Let's go ahead and get introduce the romance here and see what we have, Cancer. All right. Show me spirit. So I feel like that's what's going on. This this energy just, you're like, I can't with you. It's good, but just let this, that reckless love. Oh, 
Reconciliation. <laughs> so is it that you want a reconciliation? I talk, don't you do this, Cancer. Don't reconcile with someone from the past in the middle of this retrograde. Please don't do that. But I see that's what you want. So, yes, someone from the past is returning. You want something more. You want more. Your side of the energy shows more. But they love you. Okay? You see this? So maybe this connection is real. Wow. Top of the deck is give the relationship a chance. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Well, I tell you what. Before we got the romance angels introduced here, it could tell pretty much a different story. Right now, you know, there, there, there are some, there's a, a way in which this person carries themselves that is a bit off-putting. But overall, they are coming back. Fast communication. Cupid's arrows of love is here. They're trying to be strong, maybe to get back in a good place with you and that three of cups energy and, and, and make the seven of cups a little bit more high vibrational. That tells why the strength is here though. Um, so this just changed it. I, I can be open-minded. Okay. So, but it's still stressing you out. So I hope that you get that clarity that you need. Um, if you happen to fall and you're still feeling like you need to get away from this person, do not stress yourself out about it. Don't stress yourself out about it um, because you're being guided to give the relationship a chance. So there's going to be plenty of makeup sex. Oh, we. Even though I know you know this, I'm focused. I want this girl. And for shits and giggles, cancer. Because I know you guys broke up, I'm going to get a hidden truth oracle. Although I'm going to give you your what aren't they telling you. I just want to know before I let you go. Don't tell nobody. The 1111 portal is open, guys. I don't know whether I put the link down there. But the 1111 portal is open. If you want to connect with me and like what I do, then you can read with me on Monday, I believe the 11th, for $11. First five people will be chosen and then the link closes. Show me, spirit. I'm doing this for you because I want to know. Show me, spirit. Oh, now we getting somewhere. So previously, they're saying that the timing wasn't right. So the reconciliation has a lot to do with you getting back together now all of this is making sense. Um, you you did separate. The timing wasn't right. I still feel like this Seven of Cups is a little off-putting. And because you guys' is, uh, top of the decks are very telling. But it seems that you guys are going to be moving past this. So um, there you go. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. There's going to be recolle uh, recollection. Recollection. <laughs> Re reconciliation and plenty of intimacy all right i will see you guys in a couple days when i tell you what they aren't telling you okay bye cancers